In this tutorial, you will learn how to apply the patented fingerprint technology correctly. With this process, you will be able to reproduce any design, for example with a ceramic decoration, on different or changing production lines over and over again in the best way. On the bottom left of the production server interface, you see the original files which we want to use for the fingerprint. The original files can consist of single files or of design series. The first three files are different parts of a design series, each with four colors in CMYK. The fourth file, which is selected here, is a single file with four colors and an additional effect channel. This additional channel can, for example, contain information for a varnish. Before launching the fingerprint wizard, files with effect channels have to be specified how such channels have to be replaced. To do this, double-click on a file, select Advanced Settings, Print Mode. Here I will go to the settings, the print mode settings of our um, effects job. And here there is a special color section and for varnish I'll choose spot so I can replace it later on here in the color table. It has to be a device spot replacement and varnish. This is correct. And I activate it, confirm it. So the preview is regenerated. And it's not visible here because it's a um, it's, uh, surface treatment. Now we want to create fingerprints of the first three design files, which are parts of a design series. Therefore, it is important that the designs of a series have the same color mode. This means that they must have the same MIM and a similar design. Right-click the first job and select Fingerprint, Create. In the next window, you can select the file extension, the fingerprint file name and the maximum number of the design-specific patches of the target. The more patches you select, the more precise the target will be. For bitmap design files that only include raster data information, the resolution of the fingerprint production file cannot be altered. Now you drag and drop the two other files of the design series into the Job window. After having confirmed, the target's data will be created and rendered and the assistant for the fingerprint creation is opened automatically. Here, please select the measurement device you want to use and click Next Fingerprint Target. We continue here and open the Fingerprint Target tab. Um, this tab is um, split into a print target section and a measure target section. And here first we um, define the target size uh, that matches the tire size. 350, 350 and we, con we confirm here to print row names and column names. Um, so we can see here the patches in total are 3080 design printer patches. Printer patches we can define here and change and modify. We, we keep it as it is. These are patches um, that are process specific. They are essentially generated from the printing process and they are um, placed separately on, on, on the target. We can see here when we click on the preview. Before printing, you can check the preview of the target. After that, please click on Print to start the printing and production process. The target passes through the whole production line in the same way as the tiles. When print and production are finished, the target can be measured. For this, please click Measure Target, Start. You can use any measuring device that is supported by the production server. 
we recommend the Rapid Spectral Cube, RSC, which is optimized for industrial environments. We can see the target now. We measure it um, by marking the, the patches at the corners. I click on, on zoom, so I can see I can see the first patch here, number one. Click right, right mouse, mouse button. Then I go to the next one, the right edge, the third one. Right click, and the fourth one, the last one, right click. So we can see now all of them are marked. In the RSC software, the measuring points can be set and resized easily. After you click Measure, the data is transferred to the production server. Now we click on Next Fingerprint Creation. Now in this step, um, I can define where to save the fingerprint production file. It is located here. I can change it, but I want to keep it. Um, then the fingerprint profile. This, this profile is embedded in this fingerprint production file. It is located here. We cannot change the path. Here, the profile settings. I can define here um, the size of a profile, the larger, the better. And I'll apply a measurement correction and confirm. So now I can start calculating the profile. Now you see the actual rendering of the fingerprint production file. In the next step, we want to apply the fingerprint to an additional file that we have put into the job list. Now, instead of running the wizard again and start production once more, I just can go here in the first one, open the fingerprint menu and apply to additional jobs. A drag and drop it in here and confirm. Well, this job will be ripped and our colors will be extracted. This is the confirmation message that fingerprint production file additionally was created. Thus, the print data have been transformed into the output gamut. If you want to anticipate the reproducibility of a design on a production line that has been changed, you make a double click on one of the fingerprint production files which you have just created and you choose the gamut viewer. The design specific measure data are loaded into the gamut viewer and shown in the form of a color point cloud. Now you can compare the different color spaces in 2D or 3D. It is important to select absolute colorimetric as a rendering intent. Depending on whether the measuring points are located inside or outside the color space, you can reproduce the design color consistently or only with deviations.